Hello and welcome to the world of recipes. I'm Vaishali and today I'm going to make my son's favorite margarita pizza that means cheese pizza. It's a double cheese layer pizza but today we are not going to make it in an oven. We are going to make it on pan or a gas flame. So let's see what are things we need to make margarita pizza. For making margarita pizza, we need pizza dough, mozzarella cheese, you can take pizza sauce, I have taken ketchup here, to this I am going to add this Italian seasoning, some fresh pepper and oil. Now this pizza dough is ready, I will tell you quickly how I made this, for the detailed recipe you can watch my previous videos, yeast water. Maida 1 cup, wheat atta 1 cup, salt half teaspoon, some oil about 1 tablespoon oil. Knead the mixture and form a dough. Now the dough is ready. Apply some oil all over the dough. Cover it and keep it resting for about half an hour. All our things are ready now. Let's start making pizza. And even this is homemade mozzarella cheese. For this detailed recipe also, you can watch my previous videos. With this pizza dough, we can make three pizzas. I'll cut it into three pieces. take one part of this pizza dough knead it properly kneading of pizza dough will help it rise very well knead it for about 5 minutes now this kneading is done to check pizza dough just press it it will bounce back that means the pizza dough is ready now we need to roll this pizza dough for that we'll use some dry flour spread it with your hands first and then roll it with the rolling pin for the size you want rolled properly I can still press it little more but I'm going to press it in the pan I'm going to use for baking this is the pan I'm going to bake my pizza in I will just apply a little oil in this pan so that the pizza bakes easily and it will not stick to the pan I have not switched on the flame yet just spread this pizza in this pan and now I can press the edges perfect size of the pan we'll make some holes in the pizza so that when whenever it rises it doesn't give bubbles here Now I have turned on the flame. I prefer to cook one side of the pizza first, then flip it and then go for baking. So I am going to cook this one side of pizza for 5 minutes on medium flame first. As you can see this pizza base is showing bubbles on the sides where we have not put the holes. That means it's cooking from bottom side. Now it's been 5 minutes. Now I will apply uh, oil on the top portion of top side also spread it evenly it's going to help uh, this pizza to bake in this pan 
to spread it evenly. And now I will flip the pizza. We didn't want to cook it much, it's just little done. So now I will lower the flame and I, I will apply this ketchup. If you like pizza sauce, you can apply that also. Apply lots of ketchup. I will sprinkle some Italian seasoning on top. If you want it spicy, you can sprinkle some paprika also. But I'm making it for my son and he doesn't need spicy pizza. I will put cheese. Spread this cheese evenly. Now you can crush this paper on top. Only a little bit. Can sprinkle some Italian seasoning on top. I will apply some oil on the corn edges so that the edges also gets baked very evenly. Now cover this pan and let the pizza bake for about 15 minutes on the low flame. After 15 minutes, as you can see, the cheese has melted properly. Only thing we have to check the base if it is cooked properly or not. We will just lift on one side. As you can see, the base also has turned brown. That means the pizza is done. We will transfer it on the plate now. Just check our pizza. When I am cutting, you can hear the crunch. That means the crust has become nice. I will show you one piece of the pizza. You can see mozzarella cheese and the base also is cooked properly. This pizza is equally good as oven pizza. If you don't have oven, no need to stop. You can make it on your pan also. So enjoy this pizza. Thanks for watching this recipe. For more recipes, keep on watching World of Recipes. Thank you.